In this tutorial, we're going to look at what ShortPixel's two plugins are, the Adaptive Images plugin and the Image Optimizer plugin, and what the difference is. There is some confusion around how they work and why you can't use both and when you should use one or the other. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer those questions for you in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I'll try to answer them as best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you like that kind of thing, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. We're getting started on this one right now. ShortPixel is the image optimization service that I use and that I recommend, and they have two different plugins. And that leads to some confusion because you're not supposed to use them both at the same time. So which one do you use and when do you use it? And hopefully I'll be able to answer this for you in this quick video where I compare what they do and you can pick which one's right for you. So the one that was first released is called Short Pixel Image Optimizer. It's this one here. And what it does is it optimizes your images. I've got a video explaining exactly how it works, linked to in the card above in the description down below if you want more information. But basically what it does is you upload an image and it compresses the image and it shows that compressed image to your visitors. So it greatly reduces load time on your site, especially if you have big weighty images. As it says here, it's freemium, meaning there is a free version and a paid version. And if you go to the plans over here, set over the pricing, we see that for free, we get 100 image optimizations per month. If you go through the link down below, you get 150. You get 50% more of anything on the pricing page if you go through the link in the description down below. And so with the free version, you get 150 image optimizations per month if you go through my link. And that's what this one does. That's all it does, just optimizes your images. You can have different levels of optimization. You can undo your optimization if you want to. It stores the original image, but that's all it does, just optimize the image. Now, Adaptive Images was released just this year, I believe it was this year, and it does something else. It optimizes your images, but it also scales them down to be the appropriate size for wherever it's being shown. As you can see in the thumbnail here, you have a big image for a bigger screen, smaller for a tablet, even smaller for a phone, and it scales them perfectly to the space that's needed, which makes your images load even faster. It does this optimization on the fly as the image is loaded, and it makes your sites load even faster than their original plugin called Image Optimizer. You can use one or the other on your site. They don't recommend that you use both. So you can use one or the other. This one also is on the same account. So any account you create here, you can link up to either Adaptive Images or Image Optimizer. And there's only one set of credits per account, so all the credits count for both of those, no matter which one you use. The difference is when you upload an image with Image Optimizer, it will be optimized. That uses one credit. And that one optimized image stays on your site forever. You never use another credit to re-optimize that image. With Short Pixel Adaptive Images, where they shrink the images to be the perfect size on your page, that requires more credits. For example, if you upload one image to your site, that'll be optimized for desktop. It will be re-optimized for tablet and re-optimized for phones and re-optimize for any other size that the visitor appears with on your site and it's optimized on the fly. So potentially one image will use a lot more credits using adaptive images. And to reduce the number of credits that are used on a regular basis, ShortPixel also includes a CDN with adaptive images, meaning the images are served from a remote server that potentially makes it faster for the images to load because there are servers all around the world and they will serve the images from servers closer to your visitors. So they'll load faster, not only because of the right size for the page, but because the files are not traveling as far through the internet. And that helps with the image credits because the images are stored on the CDN servers for 30 days. So if you optimize upload image today, adaptive images will make a whole set of images for different visitor types as they visit your site. Those will all be stored for 30 days on this server, the CDN server. When that 30 days is over, those images will be then optimized again for new visitors that are coming. So with adaptive images, you're gonna use credits over and over and over and over again for the same image. For image optimizer, you will not. So if we go to an actual site that has these, this one has image optimizer installed. If we just inspect this logo, for example, we see down here that the image source is just a regular link to the image right on this website, right in the WP Uploads folder. If I go to this website, inspect here, we see that this image is loaded from this crazy place right here. And this is the CDN URL. You see a CDN right here, cdn.shortpixel.ai. 
That's the Adaptive Images plugin CDN. So this is how your image links will look if you use Adaptive Images. How they look doesn't really matter necessarily, just as long as they load. That's the important thing. If we go to GT Metrics for WP Speedify, as we see up here, we do not serve scaled images. We have a 0% score because we're loading the images right from the site. They are optimized, as in they're not huge in file size, but they're not perfectly scaled to the size of the visitor's screen. And so we get a 0% score for scaled images. If we look at the same results for WP Learning Lab, see in the URL up here, we have serve scaled images 100%. We scored 100%, nothing to do here. And that's because of the Adaptive Images plugin. So those are the two big differences with these plugins. The bottom line is that Image Optimizer, this one right here, will use less optimization credits in the long run. And Adaptive Images, this one here, will use more optimization credits, but your site will load a little bit faster because the images are perfectly sized for the visitor's screen size. That brings us to the next thing. If you've played around with Adaptive Images, you might be wondering, how do I activate it? For Image Optimizer, you input an API key. So if I go into this site, I actually right now have both installed on this site. I know I just told you they don't recommend it, but I have them both installed here anyway. And in the WordPress dashboard under settings, we have a short pixel AI link and a short pixel link. The short pixel one is just for the original one, the image optimizer. So if we go here, we see there's an API key. And we get this API key from our account, which I have right here under API key. You just click on there, you get your API key. This is even for the free accounts. Copy and paste that API key into this location here. Now, if we go to Short Pixel AI, you'd think maybe it's the same thing. Just copy and paste your API key, but it's not. There is no box for an API key. Under General, under Advanced, doesn't matter. There is no API key box. So how do you activate adaptive images? How do you take advantage of their CDN? You do it by going into your account again and you go to Associated Domains, add in the URL of your website, the domain name of your website, and then click on Add Domains. And that will add the domain as an adaptive images domain where you're gonna serve your images scaled to perfect size and through their CDN. You don't use the API for adaptive images. And again, your credits are used by both of them. So you can install either or for any of your websites and you can mix and match between websites. And again, they don't recommend using both on one site. I have previously in the past used them both on one site without any issues, but they recommend that you don't. They're the developers, so I'm sure there must be some reason why they wouldn't want you to. But either way, if you go to the link down below, you get 50% more of everything. So if you get the free account, you get 150 images a month for free, optimized for you. If you then decide to upgrade in the future, you get 50% more of anything. So if you go for the large plan, which is right now 10 bucks a month, instead of 12,000 image optimizations a month, you get 18,000, you get a free 16,000. Same goes for the one-time plans. Anything you purchase here, you would get 50% more if you go through the link down below. And again, ShortPixel is the image optimization service that I use. There's not the only one out there, but I've found great success with it. But if something works and it's not broken and there's nothing substantially better out there, I stick with what I have. And next, you should check out this video up here where I give you a walkthrough of the short pixel image optimizer plugin and how it all works. And then you should check out this video down here where I show you how to speed up your site using WP Rocket, which is another plugin I use every day and recommend highly because it's awesome. Make sure you click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.